skill. So this is going to be a good test for the microphone. Got someone trimming the neighbour's hedge right behind the camera. Um, <laughs> typically. So anyway, so let's get on to your business. So what I've been doing is, obviously if you've been watching the other videos, you'd have seen me doing the, the one one rain stuff with her in the snaffle, just bending around, um, getting a softer in her face and just trying to get her to um, relax that neck a little bit um, because she just wanted to stick it in the air all the time. She just wasn't getting soft. So basically for the last week or so, um, or 10 days a week, I've just literally been steering out one rain at a time like I did on those little baby videos. Um, and then I start putting some rib cage movement on. I was doing a bit of side passing um, on the fence, um, and then just started to use that rib cage movement in um, different sort of shapes to school her in, um, like a figure of eight and stuff, and let her float for a few steps. So she's got a bit of body work in. She's got the hind, she's got the shoulder, she's got a bit of a, the rib cage starting to come there, um, and then I'm able to just start working her um, in more of a shape then once I've added those cues on her, you know, so she's got her one, two, three, one, two, three on each side. Um, she's got her giving to the bit. I've literally got on her and I want to give into the bit like this. Good man. And giving, there we go. I want to come down, that's it, and not going up. So if you remember, we saw the other video, I want a little bit more. Good, there, a little bit more. So if you saw the other video, whenever I picked up on, on one rain at a time, she'd have this, you know, one or two second brace where she'd lift her head. So that's basically what I've been working on. So whenever she, I just need it soft in my hand, and people don't really understand that. Um, it's, it's a lot of weighted, a lot of patience work, but I'm going to show you what the patience work uh, paid off. Because if you start, the biggest mistake people make with these, with the head, if you like, is they're always trying to force it down, where I want it to come down like this, how she's relaxed and she's breaking up the wither. But we've got to teach them it, but we've got to be just as, we need to know more than the horse on this. And a lot of people think that other people, you know, the centre of the training can be fixed, but if you ain't got the right tools in your toolbox, and the knowledge and the education to follow up, then it's just not going to work. Um, because there's so much you've got to do with your blocking and your releasing, um, you have to be very skillful with your hands and your timing with this sort of stuff. Like, I can make it look really easy, but I'll tell you what, it isn't. And it highlighted me when Nancy came over on you. Thursday, um, a couple of days ago. And, uh, you know, Nancy... Nancy could hardly just get a go forward because she was too tight on the leg. You know, you don't realise what an art it is to ride baby horses and make them look, you know, easy to ride sometimes. Some of them are really easy, but ones like her where she's just got the handbrake on um, mentally, um, any excuse not to go forward uh, unless you do it, you know, in, in the exact sequence she likes it, then she, she'll find an excuse or find a hole in what you're doing. She knows straight away that Nancy didn't really know what she was doing on her. Um, and Nancy's a good little rider, but she just knew there was holes in Nancy's riding where she sort of like bled through them a little bit. And was, she weren't naughty, but she just didn't do what Nancy told her to do. Um, <clears throat> that's why I'm so attentive to them. And um, I like to just keep their attention all the time. So I'm on top of them. And... Um, it's not that I'm keeping them in a frame or keeping on them all the time, whereas I always let them loose, but then when their attention goes off, there's a lot going on here, so I'm pretty, pretty pleased. I mean, look at her ears. One ear's on, on the hedge going on, one of the other ear's on me, like, so I'm happy with that. But I just need to be able to just, you know, maybe just get a little bit of base. Like I said, I haven't even warmed her up, but that's the sort of reaction I want. Um, and I hardly had to feel anything in my hand then to get that. So let's have a little look. I've changed the game a bit now, I've moved some stuff around, so we're going to be working circles, so we're going to be using, working lateral movement to get the vertical, lateral, 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 side to side, equals vertical, okay, and then going from that one rein at a time, like I did at the baby stages, and then adding the outside rein as the support rein, and using the outside rein as I need it to, to 
instead of having the give on the thigh to the side when I'm walking like this. Okay, so when I kick, she's going to nap a little bit over here because there's a lot going on, which is fine. But again, I'm not going to get in a fight with her. I'll use this red pole here. So I want her... That's it. So every time I pick up that inside rein here, I want her to give like that. So I just use this as a, a bit of support. I use my inside, le inside leg. So every time... Like I've just got on, I haven't warmed her up. But every time I pick up that inside rein, I want her to give like this. Let me do it here. So I want her to give like that. And that's how I start it. But as soon as she gives to me, like now she isn't, I wait for her, then I give. But as soon as she gives me any thought of going down to that bridle, then I'm going to give back to her. I'm not really holding her at the moment. I'm just picking her up and saying, can you give? There. And then here's a great opportunity. I can use my legs. I can use my inside leg, outside leg. I'm, I'm using my inside leg just to stop her coming. So she's put the handbrake on there a little bit. So I use my inside leg to keep her from falling in like that. There's our ribcage movement that we put in use. And then my outside leg to stop her floating out to the outside. So she's not going to match a perfect circle yet. She's only a baby. And then what's great, I've actually done that a few times. I'm going to bore her with her. She's been a good girl. So I was just moving his ladder there. I told them not to come in here, but obviously I'm not listening. But anyway, it's good, good, uh, good for her. So she's looking over there. Perfect, perfect time to get her attention. Get her attention back. There's one right. There's a one right. Okay, because when that guy calls at the ladder, I just got to be aware. So I need her attention on me. If I let her focus on that too much, she might focus off. So again, there we go. I'm going to use the left hand is my inside hand now and all I'm using is that one inside hand and using the outside hand for support so she was a lot better to the right there she's coming in too much so I'll use my inside leg come on there's the hand right on her so I just every time I just pick up gently she gives me a nose if she doesn't and I'm going to use my outside leg there we go so she doesn't come off that inside hand, she's leaking out, she's napping. So outside leg, push her back in. So my leg's in a certain position where my inside leg is slightly back and my outside leg is slightly forward. They're just falling in the same place as my hips are. So she's a bit sticky this side, but that's okay. She's probably less confident on this side. Remember, her favourite is to the right, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to get some quality. I want to get rid of that. When I pick up, I want to get rid of that head. So she's quitting on me a little bit. That's all right. So we forget the exercise. We go back to just going forward. It's just her personality. So again, I've got ready on my outside leg. I am using a little bit of outside rein just to stop her leaking out there. Keep the eye she's falling in. So I'm using my inside rein. There we go. Step her out. Now step her in. And it's just teeting her and trying to get her into that. If you follow that circle, I'm going to leave you alone there. And she's getting soft now. She's going down, isn't she? I don't want to resist in my inside hand. I don't want to resist in that. So, okay, she can, she can, she can. Good, good, good. The legs are a bit wiggly. Now I'm going to change my legs and change my hand and go back to the good side. Because I want to get a confidence. If she finds that hard, side hard, I ain't going to work too hard on it. I want her to get the concept of what we're doing. Which is basically keeping that shape on the circle with the face and working those legs into it. But see how she's pretty good on this side, but she's always been better to the right. Now I just might do one circle, swap my legs, swap my hands. She's leaking out some money fit a bit here. We're getting closer to the head scary then. That's all right. So if she does me a circle, keeps the head down there and in shape, then I'm just going to change it. And I might just leave it there, but if she's leaking in, the head's fine, the head's fine. Now I might just leave her alone and stop her here while I'm there. Well, put your hat on. She gave me a quality then. I ain't going to drill her at this stage. This is a problem with, with the babies. If you want them really nice like this and listening to you, you cannot drill them into the ground. Um, I want quality. She gives me a step of quality. That was a whole circle of there that I was really, really happy with, so I'll leave her alone. Um, and she can have a little rest. She can have a think about that. Especially this mare. If you, if you tried to drill her too much, she would just... If she was anything, she'd be a rearer. She, she ain't one for running up. She's one for just putting the brakes on and, and just doing all this business. Um, just because you don't want to go forward too much. Like, but that's why we've had to just make it her idea. That's the whole thing about proper training is making it their idea. So they're working with you, not against you. 
So <clears throat> that's the sort of stuff we've been doing, and then we can follow it on there. And once I've got that bend really good, you can still it, it, it always, every time, even with a finish horse, you've still got maintenance to do. You've always got work to do, whether you're on a finish horse or a baby horse. So now, this is why I'm not asking for her face yet and pushing her into the walk with it, because um, she's just still got a little bit of those brakes on. But as you can probably see here, all I want is when I'm picking up that inside hand in the walk and the drop at the moment, is I want her to give to the hand. See how she just gave her nose and there's no resistance there? So she's falling in here, so I'm going to pick that inside rein, inside leg, there we go. So I just want to get, again, get rid of that head. That's it. There we go. That head resistance. That's what all I'm trying to do. There we go. Better. So let's come around here. I need her in between my range. She's following my seat. Good mare. And we're going to go around these poles here. See, she's nice and relaxed. Her head down. She's listening to me. Distracting her a bit from the noise because I'm talking. <laughs> so here we go. So I'm going to ask for that inside race with a little bit of resistance that came up. There we go. Asking her, there's her head coming up. I've got to put the legs on her now to keep her going forward because she's not in between my range. She's leaking out there. Fine. There we go in straight. So again, I'm not going to drill her on this. When she gets soft in my hands, there we go. Any gear down, I'm going to let her. There's no blockage here. The pigeon over there. So she put head down, sit. All I want is I'm getting this off. So when I pick these reins up with my, with my thumb and my little finger, easy burst, I know, I know, the hedge man. Then I get that. You probably won't be able to see it because the camera's on skater mode. So let me, I'll do it over here. Good girl. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to come in between here. I'm just going to ask, there we go. There we go. That's what I want. I want to pick up that round and get that reaction. That's her long and low coming. So I'm going to pick up that inside round. I might use a bit of inside work, inside leg. I want that reaction. Good. So she's leaking out, but I'm at the stage now I'm able to use my outside leg on her. She can follow my weight in my seat. If I want to bring her towards the combs in that shape, there we go. There's our ribcage movement working for us. And she stayed in the frame. She didn't resist. Lovely. So I might stop her for that and just rub her. I'm not too worried about her at the moment when she stops. She puts her head up. You know, we're too early in the game to fix everything and keep her in a frame at the moment. What we're doing is developing the foundation of that frame so that with these little things, I want little acts. Her payment for that reaction is a relief. But you see how soft my hand is open, how soft that was. Let me just back her up a little bit. How I'd like if it was, you know, if she's staying here. That's a lovely shape. That's a lovely shape. So if I keep that hole, then I want her to back up out of it. Good. 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 She's resisting. She's got the face, but the feet aren't coming. There we go. But everything I do, when I lift that rein, I want to give. I want the give. If I lift this mine, it's all about the giving. Giving. There we go. And not coming up. The resistance is the head coming up. So then from there, like I say, if I go and pick up on two rounds, I might have to get wide on her. Then I have, she's leaning, she's leaning. So when she leans, I'm going to wait for her. Till, there we go. There we go. So she literally fed the light in my hand. Because if I kept pulling backwards, that's when she's just going to lean, learn to lean and get heavier. And if I want to progress to the next stage, here we go. I like that. So as soon as I got my body in position, she just came in the face. Useful. So now I'm going to add my legs and say, go forward. Can you go forward in that frame? She's like, oh, handbrake. And this is exactly why she needs a little bit, but then I'll release her. So I'm just saying, can you hold yourself in that frame for me? Because one day that's going to be her collection. But I just like how I can just put, touch the rein and she goes down, she gives to the broad really nicely now. But again, it's so tempting, so tempting to, for me, especially to go into show mode and really start framing her up all the time, which I'm just not going to do. Yeah, it's all right. Because that's exactly her problem, which just stops and said, oh, we're finished yet. Yeah. Uh, no, basically. But what I wanted, we're almost finished, you've done really good. 
But what I want to do is I want to trot her out now. See, again, there we go. I didn't pull on her more when she lifted her head then. She thinks now, like, oh, it's quitting time. <laughs> so this is only the second day I've been doing this in the trot, actually. So I've got some footage of yesterday I might put up um, of her starting to understand. So it might be just interesting now. Come here, baby. We ain't finished yet. So again, I'm going to go to the right side because that's her most confident side. She's most likely going to nap over there. Um, so I'm going to be aware with that. And, and I'm going to just, I know she's going to do it. So instead of just letting her do it, and this is, again, most people's problem, is oh, they, they don't do anything about it. So I'm going to prepare around this area already before I get there to get on top of it. Okay? So don't just sit there and let it happen and go, oh, whoops, it's happened. Try and prevent it. This is being aware of what's going on and with your horse. So let's just pick her up in a trot. Obviously, you know, this is the first trot I've done with her today. Might look a bit khaki at first. We're not going to ask any face of her. I just wanted to go forward. Um, just go forward. So, and that's it. So I'm not going to ask her for any face. If she gives me any face and I do pick up, then fine, I know. But I'm not asking for it particularly at the moment. Yeah. So I squeeze her, there's my little clap. All my horses I try and do on a voice cue. See, she's already rooting down, but she is leaking out this way to the pony. So I've got my side leg on a little bit. So I'll leave her alone there like this for a little bit. And just let her relax into it a bit. A lot going on over there for her. There she is. She, she did that herself. There we go. I don't know if you saw that on the camera. There, I'm on skate mode. So I'm going to try and get her to do it over here. There we go. There we go. So I, it's just about... Oh, yeah. There we go. So she's in that, that, that oop zone where she's up and down at the moment. But she's not 100. She doesn't like what's going on there. <laughs> it's all right there. But she's trying. She's trying. <laughs> yeah, I know. She says, oh, my God, I've got to work with... With like all this pressure on my face and all that cat going on over there. So here we go. No, no closing the door now. No closing the door. Get them feet moving. This is her little, this is the only thing I don't like about her. So again, you see how I didn't put any pressure on her face? I just kept my pressure on my legs. Again, another, another thing people quit on is they go, oh, they're not going because they quit first with the horse. I would have sat there for 10 minutes and kicked my legs like that until she went. But I ain't pulling on her and jerking on her. I'm just saying, if you want to start, then you're going to get this. And this is how I get them reasonable. <laughs> so let's try it just a little bit on this side. Set this guy for the... to get out of the fucking field. <laughs> He's my French. So I've got to be aware. See, I'm aware all the time. So now that, that fence guy is trimming the hedge is in, in her right eye. So, you know... Her ear is on him. Her ear is not on me at the moment. Now it's coming on me. But again, this, this corner is a slight issue, isn't it? So let's just get her trotting a bit. And I did work a pretty hard on this yesterday. So, um... I, see, here we go. Not that hard for her to do that. But this is just her. She just thinks, oh, stop now. Good mess. So if I pick up, I want that. If I pick up, I want that. Good. That's okay. She ain't ready for holding yet. Look what's happening already. She's quitting on me already. So I've got to make sure that open door is clearly open. And good. Good. Clearly open. Maybe when I pick up, yeah. She went, oh, then I know what to do. Well, I know what to do. But then she goes, oh, I've had enough. So again, I keep my legs on, keep my legs on. That's it. Direct her when she goes forward. So let me wait here. Come on, you've got to do a bit more work. Thank you. Where do you want to go? So again, I'm trying not. Like I say, it's very easy to go into show mode and start putting, putting that frame on. So I'm going to go back to... One rain at a time now. Oh, I've got. I'm going to go back one rain at a time. 
don't walk into the post. So get that trot back any means necessary. There we go. And I'm going back to one rain at a time. Oh, because I need her feet moving. Oh, God, God, sorry, Beth. I need her feet moving again because she's blocking up, isn't she? So there we go. There we go. Good. That's it. Good. Give me a good one here. Give me a good one here. That's it. There we go. There we go. That's nice. So she's got her feet moving now. And now I might change direction, but I'm going to quit. The biggest thing here is I'm going to quit before she... And I'm going to quit somewhere where she ain't quit, which I'm going to choose over here. And I'm just going to go, whoa. Again, even when I whirl, I just want, I'm trying to put my voice cues on. We go down the legs, I'll set up and do it. But I, the key with horses like this is quick before they do. So I'm pretty happy with that. Like I said, I did work pretty hard on this yesterday. And she's trying, she's, she's trying. And that's all, all I want from her. And there's a lot going on today. She works pretty well. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I might ask her for another trot. Another trot in a minute, or I might just warm her down. Get that shoulder there. Get shoulder over there, man. Oh, that's your hind. That's your hind. You want that shoulder. Where's that leg attached to my inside rein? There we go. Okay. Forward now. But she, like I say, she's not the brightest spark. She's the sweetest, sweetest tool, but she's just not the brightest spark. So when you put all this stuff together, you've got to be really slow and consistent. Otherwise, she's like, oh, my God, what? So let's put her on a little circle here just to finish her off. I'm going to need my outside rein. I'd like a little bit bigger circle there. Yeah, well, listen then. So all I'm doing here is giving her a series of blocks. She's got to listen to me. So if she falls in like that, there we go. I'm going to lift that inside rein and use my inside leg. There we go. Probably not a good angle for the camera. I'll have to go over there. So this is her warm down now. I'm pretty happy with that. She worked long and low. She's at the point now where she can have short sessions, um, but quality. I want quality. So let's do a circle here. But it's just, I don't quit when she starts fanning around. I might just lower the pressure. So I just want her on a nice little circle. Again, my inside leg is back. Outside leg is forward. She's trying to leak out to the outside there. So I've just got her in my hands and my leg. No, we're not going over there. So I'll wait for her, wait for her. There we go. Now she says, oh, we're falling in. I said, yeah. <laughs> but she got to learn. There's her brakes coming on. She's got to learn all these cues. We're all putting them together now. It's a bit confusing. We've got inside hand going. We've got inside leg going. We've got outside hand, outside leg. And we've got to stay forward and stay in between the bit and the round. Here we go. But she's got a lot of release. I give them a lot of release. A lot of release here. So they don't feel no pressure when they're doing good at all. So this is the problem with the English stuff, is that they don't hardly get a, a, a centimetre or an inch of release. But she has a very clear black and white. When I pick up, it's black. When she, let, when she gives, and I give back to her, it's white. There's no grey there. So let's turn her around. And just finish that off. See if she'll do me a little. Yeah. I'll teeter her back with her outside. Oh, push, push. Oh, I'm trying to come through. Okay. It's a bit messy, isn't it? Get your uh, inside leg. But that was really frozen. She's not great at moving that shoulder still. But it's getting better. I use all my hands. All my hands. I don't strap them up in the in the bridle. So we're on a bad side now, remember, so she's going to leak out, her head's going to pop up. So again, we're just going to wait for that quality and reward the slightest try. There we go. So I just to put my outside leg in. She just wants to leak out here a little bit. I want her to give me that quality. Give me that she's coming in a bit. Okay, she's correcting herself. Or I've... There we go. So if she's leaking out, there she listens to the leg. Beautiful. I don't mind if she goes slow. I want to... She goes slow, it helps me out, helps her out. Otherwise, faster you go, faster the mistakes will come. It's harder, you have to be quicker to correct them. Good. 
be following my seat. I'm looking at that circle. I just want to get rid of that little coming up there. But she's at it. Good. Put my outside leg, outside leg on her then. And she just is lovely. Good mare. So she's coming in. Can I push her out? Can I push her out? A bit light, but there we go. Let's wait for her because she might leak out here. She's stopping. She didn't leak out. She stopped. Okay, but it wasn't too bad leak out. She's just letting me catch her with the outside rein and outside leg. That's fine. She's leaking out here. There we go. It only took one or two tiny little touches there. Good. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to walk her out here, actually. Go straight. Walk her out here. And just let her walk around for a bit now. Just going to let her walk around and just leave her alone. Now, if she spots at something, she's looking at the hedge, then I'll pick her up, obviously. But I've got to know. I'm letting you walk around, do your own thing. You better be out. We're not eating the grass, though. This is your chance. This is your one chance, fancy. Don't let me down. You know, she's fine, but she's just not very good at being independent. So this is all good for her. This is why she's not great on the road, because when they're on the road, I want them to realise that they've got no pressure on the road, and they need to learn to, to sort of, um, you know, appreciate having no pressure and just being walking me and me being a little passenger and then taking me for a little hack. But she gets all worried because, basically, I leave them alone on the road on the face. And I say, just take me for a hack. And she's like, oh, my God, I can't take it. You need to micromanage me all the time, Nikki. Otherwise, uh, I, I just can't make decisions. I can't make the right decisions for myself. <laughs> That's basically what I feel, she said. Well, good, man. You good girl. That was very good. Good girl. Can I have that face? Beautiful, beautiful and stuff, thank you. Feel. Can I have that one? She thinks, is it down? No, it's out. Oh, look, look, good man. Yes, what? And I say, can I have your, can I have your, your vertical? Thank you. Good man. Very nice. 